Hello everyone. In our previous session, we learned about different types of account. That is personal account and impersonal account. Impersonal account is further classified as real account and nominal account. Now we will discuss the golden rules of accounting. Three golden rules of accounting is most commonly used term and phrase in the field of accounting and finance. These three golden rules are applicable with three types of accounts that is personal account, real account and nominal account. So as per the first golden rule of accounting, in case of personal account, debit the receiver and credit the giver. That is when a person receives something, that person's account will be debited in books of account and when a person gives something, we will credit that person's account in books of account as per the first golden rule of accounting. Now, let's see one example. Paid cash rupees 1500 to Mr. X. General entry, Mr. X account debtor to cash. Here, X personal account is being debited. Why? Because he is the receiver and cash is being credited because cash is a real account and cash goes out from our business. So once again as per the first golden rule personal account debit the receiver and credit the giver. Second golden rule of accounting with respect to real account. Real account means all those assets that is land, building, plant and machinery etc. In that rule says Debit what comes in, credit what goes out. Actually, these real accounts which normally has a debit balance. That is, when we purchase some assets or any additions are made, it should be debited. Similarly, when it goes out from our organization or reduces its balances, we will credit it. So, now let's see one example. Furniture purchased for cash. So, piece 1 lakh. So, journal entry is furniture account debtor to cash. Here, real account that is furniture. So, we debit it. Furniture comes to our business. So, we debited the furniture account and cash account is also a real account and cash we are paying. So, it goes out. So, cash account is being credited. And now, it is related with normal account. The third golden rule of accounting. It says debit or expenses and losses, credit or incomes and gains. So now let's see one example. Rent received rupees 6000. So general entry for the same is cash account debtor 6000 to rent received 6000. Here cash account is a real account and cash we received. So it's being debited as per the second rule. And rent received. Rent received means it is an income for us. So we credit it. So in short, as per third golden rule, normal account, debit all expenses and losses, credit all incomes and gains. Thank you.